Hello Reddit. Today I fucked up by setting my Wi-Fi hotspot to bomb detonator. Title says most of it. I was at a tech conference today. I like to broadcast random Wi-Fi hotspot names to mess with people, and after the recent story about the planet fitness I thought it would go over well as a joke. I mean, who hasn't seen FBI surveillance van as a network? Holy fuck. Do not do this. Cops got called. I got to spend about 45 minutes chatting with them. They asked a lot of questions. They had to make sure I'm not a threat. I cooperated fully. I have no doubt being a white guy at a nerd gathering probably helped. I was told I wasn't being charged. I was, however, told to leave by the venue and not come back. Flash forward 2 hours and I go to log into my work email on my phone. Ha. Huh. Password failed. Ha. Huh. Again. Okay, let's not fat finger this and lock the account. Pull out the laptop, remote into my work PC. Go to log in. Your account has been disabled. Contact your systems administrator. 20 minutes later I get the text message. You are being placed on paid administrative leave effective today 5 over 23. While the agency investigates today's events surrounding you being removed from the venue. You are not to complete any work, access agency networks or report to the office during your leave. We will contact you when the investigation is complete. Today I fucked up by making everyone in the elevator think that they were going to die. When I used to be a Muslim, I had an app on my phone that would sound the adhan when it was time for prayer. I was on holiday the day of the fuck up. I got into a hotel elevator. This was shortly after the Paris attacks. There were roughly 6 people in it. Then the adhan for prayer started blasting from my phone. For those who don't know, the adhan starts with Allahu Akbar. When that blasted from my phone, the elevator went into mass hysteria, people were crying, screaming, another man tackled me, and held me down. I had to explain to them, that I wasn't a terrorist. Then everyone just started laughing. I understand that everyone may think this isn't a fuck up, but I feel, like I shouldn't have had my Adhan blasting like that after an incident like the Paris attacks. Today I fucked up by texting my pregnant wife that this isn't working. My wife posted earlier today on LA about this. Not using my main because my Phil knows it and I'm not quite ready to tell him about this. I went to work today and turned my phone off as usual. I had almost 30 missed texts and calls from my pregnant wife when I turned it on. Most of them were asking how I could do this. I had no clue what she was talking about. She didn't answer any of my calls back. I got home, and she was packing up to leave. I'll admit it, I cried. A lot. Had no clue what was happening or what I did. Finally, it comes out, that I texted her, that I wanted a divorce. She showed me the text, and I immediately realized what happened. This morning, a freestanding mirror for our bedroom was delivered. I texted her the new mirror came in. I'm going to try to put it together, but I may need your help later. I had trouble putting it together and eventually gave up. I texted her, this isn't working, and at this point I think I need to just give up. Apparently, the first text didn't go through, just the second one. So my pregnant wife panicked for a few hours, while I was off thinking everything was great. She even called a divorce lawyer. Things are fine now, but she's still crying off and on. She told me we can laugh about it tomorrow. Today I fucked up by unknowingly doping for the entire school year. This Tifu has been in the making since last September. This is a throwaway account, as my real one is known to my friends. Late last summer I started having some heart problems, irregular heartbeat, high pulse and the works. Naturally my family doctor prescribed a daily 25 mg tablet of metoprolol, which kept the symptoms to a minimum. I'm a pretty private guy, so nobody but my close family knew. Though I've always been pretty healthy, that was the wake up call I needed to start working out. Beside hitting the gym, I also joined a sharpshooting club, and was I was natural at it. Over the course of a few months I moved from shooting prone with the help of a few sandbags to shooting standing up. My aim was steady, breathing as slow as possible heartbeat minimal. I'm pretty sure you guys have already made the connection between the heart meds and my fantastic performance, but I sure as hell didn't. 
In the meantime a cardiologist said tough shit and bumped up the meds. During the course of this school year I was consistently better than the other newcomers at sharpshooting, winning small tournaments in the club. Soon they decided to have me participate in a bigger tournament with an actual prize. The stakes were high, but I was a stone cold shooter. Later that day checking out my Fitbit, I found that my pulse had never gone over 85, and that was when I had to bicycle over the, the range. Flash forward two more tournaments to today. My friend jokingly mentioned that I must have been doping to do so well, and the dots connected. I googled metoprolol doping, there it was. I still haven't told anyone, but Reddit. What the hell do I do now?